This lecture covers Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, or EDS. This is a connective tissue disorder that is inherited. One of my former students had EDS and has agreed to share some of his information. There are many forms of EDS and they were classified in 1997 into six major types. The different types of EDS are classified according to their signs and symptoms. EDS is caused by a defect in the collagen or connective tissue, which is the main building block in the body. Collagen provides strength for the different parts of the body. Some types are firm to give support. Others are elastic to allow movement and strength, and still others resemble glue binding protein together. So, if it is defective, it can produce many problems. They are characterized by joint hypermobility, which means extreme movement in the joints, or sometimes these people are said to be double jointed, and skin extensibility and tissue fragility. The most common signs or clinical manifestations of EDS are skin and joint related and may include, if it's the skin, a soft velvet-like skin with variable skin hyperextensibility, fragile skin that tears or bruises very easily, severe scarring, slow wound healing, and the development of pseudotumors. This picture shows you hyperextensibility of the skin on the back of the hand. This picture shows hyperextensibility of the skin at the elbow. The reason for this is these individuals have extra elastic fibers in their skin. The extra elastic fibers are located in the skin all over the body. And the face is no exception. There is also skin hyperextensibility in the tissues on the face and scalp. Joint hypermobility is another symptom. Joint hypermobility is when there are loose or unstable joints that are prone to frequent dislocations and to joint pain. Hyperextensible joints mean that they move beyond the joint's normal range. In these individuals, there's usually an early onset of osteoarthritis. So what is the outcome or the prognosis for these individuals? First, let's look at the prevalence. At this time, research statistics of EDS show the prevalence is 1 in 5,000 to 1 in 10,000. It is known to affect both males and females of all racial and ethnic backgrounds. The prognosis of EDS depends on the specific type. Life expectancy can be shortened with the vascular type of EDS due to the possibility of organ and vessel rupture. Life expectancy is usually not affected in the other types.